Hello everyone, this is part two of Everyday Deals unboxing for diamond paintings. Stick with me and we'll get right to it. Okay, we're gonna open up, we're gonna continue our, I guess you call it tradition or had it, or some of opening up the ones that in this bag, this whole package that came from Everyday Deals in the plastic first. And this one wasn't even, they didn't have a little baggie to fit this one. This one hung over, so it was open. So it just kind of started sliding out while I was talking to you. But here it goes. Let's see. Now, there goes the tool. Regular tool, little square, little square, and this is a 40 by 50. So if you're not heavy handed, this may last you. <laughs> I, uh, oh, and see now in the other video of this same company, we had two different ways they packed the diamonds in what I received from them. Here is another one. This is the third different way that you may uh, receive your diamonds from Everyday Deals or other um, companies. They're in the individual baggies, okay? And each one has the little sticker on it of which one, uh, the numbers of how many is in here. Um, and you'll, you'll see what I mean. And it looks like that they have concluded a, 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 um, sticker on the bag that has the item number of the painting N236. N236 right here. Up here. So, you know which one it goes to if you store it in a different spot. I still would want to write what picture it is. You know, because that make it easy on yourself. Easy. Alright. Let me roll this out. It is quite wrinkled. Okay. This is how it came. It is quite wrinkled from shipping. But again, I think that this, as I straighten it out, as I pull on it, it's the thick, the thick canvas. It's almost like a book bag type material. Feels like on the back. All right. This is what it is. <laughs> I'm in a Pooh Bear kick <laughs> this month, I guess. And Pooh Bear, who doesn't love sweet little Pooh Bear and his honey, like Rabbit says, honey. And there's a bee with the wings. You can see the little bee. And he has gotten his honey from those bees. He just kept right on. He just kept right on. He didn't stop. He got he got his honey. You know? Isn't this sweet? 50? 40 by 50. It has 24, 24 colors in this. It's not so yellow as some of the other ones. So it's nice and bright. It's big. It's up close. And I do not expect any distortion in the face or anything. It should turn out really well. Hopefully the grid will be kind to it being, I think it's a square. Let me see. No, yeah. I can't see. I'm getting my glasses tomorrow though. They look square to me. Yep, they're square. So I'm going to get really good detail on this one. This is just a lovely picture of poo. And it's just so heartwarming and I just love it. It's so cute, cute, cute. Even though it has the um, wrinkles, I'm hoping they didn't put <laughs> the cover sheet down before the glue was dry. Um, <laughs> let's see. Let's hope it's all nice and slick like an ice cr uh, ice rink after they get out there 
and slick it up with that machine. And there it is. It is just the wrinkles in the canvas. I do not, I know it looks wrinkly in the slick stuff. I'm just, I'm looking at it myself. So, yeah, I don't see, is that a bubble right there? Let me check. Nope, it's fine. I don't see anything that is going to stand out once it is flat. Everything looks fine. If this wrinkle did not get out, then you would see that in the finished product. This is only the canvas again. Whenever you flatten this out, this canvas will be straight. And I don't expect any issues here. And now, if I did the canvas, went ahead and started working on it, then it may end up affecting the placement of my diamonds as I go because I, I did it before it was able to get flat. And that would be my fault. Sometimes you get in a hurry. I'm so big on that. I get in a hurry and I don't give it time. <laughs> like the, the video I have putting a canvas, put gluing your finished diamond painting onto a stretched canvas, a plain stretched canvas that you get at the hobby stores, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, whatever, online. Um, you can get some spray glue and spray these down onto it. And I have a video of that. And I got in a hurry and I did not paint the edges of the stretch canvas because it I had a little extra. When you cut this off, sometimes those stretch canvases are not exactly the same size, but you get the closest. And it could it could be a little more on each side, you, you know what I'm saying. And it would show, now it would be okay if you had a white canvas on this one around, it, it, it probably wouldn't matter. But if you wanted to put the green or the blue around it, or this color, gray, or, or whatever, then <laughs> you would want to paint it first. I didn't paint it first, and that is the most <laughs> complaint I get. Or suggestion. I'm not going to say complaints. Nobody's complaining. Um, on that video is you should paint it first. <laughs> I just got so excited about doing a video for y'all that I just absolutely bypassed that. <laughs> and showed you how to put it on there. So paint it first. It's a lot easier. And yes, all of this is just the wrinkles from the shipping. It was pretty wrinkled up in its thing. So, it's not anything to do with the glue. The glue still looks really slick. Now, it's, it's sticky, but it it's not as sticky as some of them that I have. You know, some of them are just <sighs> cement sticky. I mean, once you stick it down, it's there. Some of them are just lightly sticky, and this is a lighter sticking one and I'm hurrying rushing that top cover sheet and this clear cover sheet lets you know it is a poured glue if you have one that comes and it, you can't see through the cover sheet it's a white cover sheet that is a like a two-sided tape type glue situation and you can run into some major situations with that. Having air pockets underneath the glue and the canvas. Rivers, all kinds of crazy things. So that's one reason why you make sure you check that glue out. You pull that back and check it out. Don't ever take the whole thing off. Because this is what protects your glue and keeps it nice. No wax paper. No saran wrap. If you get paper stuck to it, baby wipe. Baby wipe will get, get off uh, dirt. It will get off um, cat hair. A lot of you have cat that wants to lay down on what you're doing. I don't know what it is. They just like, okay, you're not paying me attention. I'm going to make sure you pay me attention. I'm laying right here, right in front of your face. 
And that's what happens. You end up, they get up, and it's nothing but a, a rug. <laughs> so use your baby wipes if you can't get that out. It'll come back to new unless you have a really bad shedding cat. Okay, here, let's tackle these baggies. No inventory sheet. So I have to trust that they have put all these colors in here. There's 24. All these colors have got to be in this. So now I'm going to have to count them. Here's one. And here's two. Here's three and four. Five and six. And I've got to make sure that they're closed. Because, see, if you notice, there's a diamond on the top here above the seal. It was not all the way closed. So make sure. And there's one in this one. So make sure that it, there was two, actually, in that one up above. And you got to make sure that each one is closed. So I got from one to six right there. <clears throat> and you can see the different colors in those. That's one to six. Now seven is closed. Eight is closed. Nine. 10. Oh, there's one in the top here. Got to open it up. You see what? It was not even closed. It was still open. It's a wonder we didn't lose that whole bag. <clears throat> I'm wondering if this number 742, let's see, this is number 10. 742. So 10, it has the number in the order that you put them down. And then the number of the color, 742, which is good. And it's right here, number 10. And I don't know what the other information is on there. So, I have some other little things written on there. I don't know. There's 11. Let's go back. Let's go like this. 12 is closed. 13. You can see that, the different colors. I don't know if this is messing you up where you can't see the colors, I'm sorry. And then there's 14, it's more of that burgund a deeper burgundy. 15, that pretty green right here. Number 16. Number 17. Look at that pretty pink. That's a yummy pink, that's like a bubblegum pink. Number 18. Beautiful colors. And that goes right here. Number 19. <clears throat> and number 20. Gotta make sure that they are closed. Making sure. Number 20, because whatever they send you is all you got. Now I got number 21. Number 22. Number 23. And 24. Okay. It's all closed. That's a that's a pearlesque looking white. And so I'm going to go ahead and put these back in. We are good to go. We have 24. And each one has a different amount in each bag. You can tell. And we trust that they have filled each of these baggies with the correct amount. If not, well, they probably have a lot extra in here. So that way we will not miss any. And 10 had two. Did you notice that? 10 had two in it. I didn't notice that when I brought it out. Nine. And I'm trying to get them all in order. Keep them all in order. So when I, bat, bat, when I, this one's big enough to where I will hit this one. I won't keep them in the baggies. I appreciate the baggies, though. But I'd rather have them in that other way. I don't know. I've, got, I've gotten to where I like that. Better, even though they don't give a 
I hate that they don't give a human toy sheet, but you know, what can you do? Not every factory is the same. I'm trying to be nicer about how I feel about things. It's really easy to get ill about, you know, not getting everything the way that you'd like it to be. And it's just not the way the world is. Okay, so I'm going to turn that upside down. We're going to leave it there. And I am going to do the second one. The second one come in this. So everyday deals must um, have several different diamond painting factories that they go to... Um, they, they must have a store that allows a lot of diamond painting companies to put their diamond paintings on there. And when you order it, it, it just goes to that factory and it comes from there, different factories. And that's why we're seeing different types of diamonds stored in different ways and coming in different um, packaging, even though they all come in the same order. You know, see now this one is coming out of this without a plastic, without this type of plastic on it. So, here we go. Now this one I ordered from another company and I wanted to check to see which one had the better colors. How they, if it was the same um, if there's any difference, it's a duplicate. So this is a duplicate. You've seen it in another video here recently. And it was one I was just so excited over. And I wanted to check to see which one was a better quality. So this one came with two, two of these. The, the canvas size is 40 by 50. It come with two of these regular tools and it come in the baggies okay so no inventory sheet let's see fz320 is that on here the sun's getting in my face yep it's the bottom number on the bottom here okay that right there those last few numbers match this canvas now you've seen this before and like piglet says now now you've been here before meaning the leaf that blew in and he had sweeped it away <laughs> now you've been here before <laughs> it's poo that's my phone it's poo bear looking in at the honey hole with the bees all around you've seen this before I wanted to compare the two and whichever one's the better one. This one looks more red than the other grid. And it's going to be very interesting. See, this will be an extra one that I may give away in, an, uh, fut in the future. So, stay tuned. I'm, you never know when I hit milestones on here on how many people subscribe. Get everybody you know to subscribe to get me up. To the next milestone, I think I'm hovering at 2,000. You might get me over 2,000 and then might, may give one away. Um, if I'm already over 2,000, go to 3,000 and see if we can't get it, get it done. <laughs> so, anyways, I don't know. I may not have that many people out there that do diamond painting that wants to watch me. <laughs> if I don't get that many, I'll still do a giveaway. Okay, so it did come in the packets. We have um, 23 colors in this, and it is really shimmery. And it's already starting to flatten out. It's not as wrinkled as that one before. There is a wrinkle here that left an air pocket, and you can see me. I will stick my finger down onto that sticky. Okay. Let's look at the diamonds, and these are squares. Make sure that it's the one <laughs> I know I did earlier, FC320. Um, I just opened up the other bag because I had it on here. <laughs> Counted them all out, and it was more, more than what was this picture had. 
even though it's saying the same colors. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's up. Okay, here we go. 9, 10, and 8. 9. Wait, 10, 9, 8. 7, 6. There's 5. Make sure that edge is done. 4, 3, 2, 1. And then we got 21 over here. We got 11. We've got 12. We got 13 and 14. They're closed. Nothing busted. Nothing left open yet. 14 and 15. 16. Right there. 17. 18. 19, I think. Yep, 19. Now we have 20. 21. 22. And 23. 23. We have all of our diamonds correct amount of diamonds and so we're going to put them back in here see without an inventory sheet you can't check off anything unless you unless you print this off you could print this off which I'll probably print it off anyways whenever I kit up my uh, diamonds into their little uh, canisters or or things, little boxes that they go in, and then I make uh, cut these out. I print this out, cut it out, and put them on my um, containers, so that way I can see what each container is and get them out of these baggies. Because you know, baggies can create a lot of static. If they have static in them, it can aggravate you to death. <laughs> You've never dealt with static and diamond painting. <laughs> oh my goodness, be glad, be glad, be glad. You do not want to. So, yeah. Love inventory sheets because it takes a lot of this, this pressure off trying to make sure that you've got everything. And it comes in handy in so many different ways. Okay, that is the end of part two of Everyday Deals Diamond Painting Unboxing. We went over the, the diamonds for each one. This is a duplicate that I had I have already bought, but I did that um, just to see which one. One of them looked a little bit different from the other one, and I, I'll, I'll put them together. Um, I'm not going to do that here, cause, you know, because the other one come from a different company. But it's just for me, personally, because I want the best one. <laughs> I'm just being picky. And then here's another Pooh Bear right here. So... I'm going to put them up like this, get a picture, so that way y'all might get interested in looking at this on YouTube. There we go. Everyone, I'm so happy, so very happy to be able to bring you these things. Thank you, Lord, for allowing me to be in a position where I can. And thank you, Lord, for sending each and every one of you out there to be a subscriber and uh, even if you don't subscribe, you're watching, and hopefully you like this, and will subscribe so you won't, and hit that bell so you won't lose, miss any more future stuff. I don't just do diamond painting on here. I do all kinds of different things, and we're gearing up for the fall, and we're gear, gearing up for the holiday season. So we'll be doing a lot of different things on here. And you may see something you want to do for your holiday decorations or crafting or whatever. If you have a vendor booth, you may see something that, hey, I want to do that too. 
or you may have been contemplating do, being a vendor at a festival because the fall's coming up and you want to make sure you have some really unique things in there. I don't care if you do the same things that I do. A lot of times I'm showing you on here how to do some of the crafts that I do so you don't have to go out and buy it. Now, if you don't feel like you have the skill to do it, which I'm telling you, you do. Some people don't have the time. Some people don't have the confidence I don't know. I don't really want to, you know, they may not have the interest. You have to have the interest in it and the confidence to do it. And sometimes you're just so busy with life and you just haven't gotten the time to to uh, mess around with certain crafts and things to see if you really like it. And like my mom, she could draw really well when she was young, but she got into hairdressing and raising a family and she didn't get back into her drawing and painting till later in life till she was semi-retired and now she's just flew with it so you may be that same person that is just too busy whatever and i understand it understand it completely some people say hey look i like other people's stuff and i'm going to buy other people's stuff if that's the case i have a web store me and mom and dad, all three of us have a web, so web store for our stuff that we do. Dad's books is on there. He writes novels. He's over 80 and he has some wonderful novels. He's got three of them waiting on me to get done <laughs> to publish. And, you know, because I have to edit and get it all ready together to get it together in a book form and, and get it published. Then uh, mom's artwork and some of the home decor that she does. And then I have some of my artwork in prints and some crafts and things like that, home decor and jewelry. And, you know, we just love, I love that you take time out of your day to watch my channel. Look at the links underneath. I have my sister-in-law store. I have our store. I'll the links for these and everyday deals. And I'm just really so blessed to have all of you and be able to do all this stuff so even though I am doing too much and I need to slow down but no nah, who said slow down who said, who said that anyways I hope you have the a better rest of your week it is Monday here today so I'll get this up as soon as possible for you to see Thank you so very much, everybody. Bye.